All right, what's up guys? So uh, we're gonna show some peptide reconstitution. I'm gonna try and stay in the camera on this. I've got some BPC-157 here, and I think just very rarely have I seen any video online that actually shows like what mixing looks like up close. So we're gonna use 157, probably the most common peptide that people use, right? And this is five milligrams, you see, little bottle. This holds three milliliters of water, but we're not actually adding three milliliters to it, we're adding less than that. Um, we're gonna practice good hygiene, so I'm, I'm, I'm touching the top of this, I shouldn't be touching it. So we're gonna go through the whole process step by step. You know, number one, we're going to disinfect this, right? We wanna practice good hygiene. We don't wanna to be touching stuff with our skin. Uh, we got some bacteriostatic water here. I'm going to pop the top off that, and I'm going to disinfect this also with another fresh, always got to go fresh, fresh little alcohol swab. All right, so this is clean. These are both clean, right? And here, I'll move this little box over. So, yep, perfect there in camera view. So you guys can see these, right? There's 157. There's the water. I'm going to pull out a fresh... This is a 29 gauge, one ml syringe. Okay. So with reconstituting, how much water? This question comes up constantly. Uh, you're gonna get different answers from different people. Some people advocate as little water as possible. Some people more, um, you know, I oscillate back and forth. You know, I found my general rule my heuristic for mixing peptides at this point is for every five milligrams you're going to add one milliliter of water uh, there are exceptions to this like um like what this right here this is ghkcu this is 50 milligrams i'm not going to add there's no way to add uh, you know would that be 10 mls to this yeah i'm going to add like three to this right because it does sting a little bit but uh yeah it, again as a heuristic rule of thumb general rule if there's five milligrams in the vial, add one milliliter. Uh, if there's 10 milligrams, add two milliliters. That will work for most things, okay? So this is all clean. I'm gonna get the bacteria stack water. Um, I probably don't really need to inject air into this, but I'm going to anyways, whatever. So let's go in. Away we go, right? Yeah, this wasn't too bad. All right, it's already coming. It's coming out super easy. I'm, I'm not even pulling on. It's coming out. So we're going to add the one ml. We're going to fill this up all the way. I think 157 and TB500 are, you know, by far the most used peptides. Well, then you have things like Ozempec, um, Terzapatide, stuff like that, but... In terms of like biohacker world, definitely it's 157 TB500. All right, here's our 157. So I'm gonna go real close up with this, you guys can see. So I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna dead center it. Luckily the, you know, the vials, they got the little hole on them. It tells you exactly where to put the needle. And now this is already actually starting to come out. Now you don't have to do it crazy slow. What I'm doing, you see I've angled it and I'm just letting it run down kind of the side of it. It's coming out. And this is all by itself because there's a little bit of a vacuum in this. So you can see this, you know, I'm trying to do as close as I can. So this is filling up with water. Boom, it's all in. Pulled out. So I'm going to put a cap on this, toss this into a plastic spillable container. Okay, so previously this was a white powder, still kind of is, but you can see now it's starting to mix, bubbling a little bit. And within another few minutes, I'm just gonna let you do this with my fingers. It will turn into a liquid. So I'm not gonna shake it. I'm just gently rolling it. This will turn into a liquid. It already is, we're almost there. And then at that point, it will be ready to inject. Um, and that's what re reconstitution looks like. So yeah, it's pretty much, you guys can kind of tell as I back out, this is pretty much done. You, know, you compare this to another bottle so you can see the white powder, you can see the reconstitute. You see the difference? This, when pet pads are properly mixed, it will just look like water. It, it doesn't look like anything, unless it's, unless it's colored, right? Uh, but it's that basic, that simple. So hopefully you guys found this instructive. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow the channel, and I will talk to you guys again.